What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be discussing the best teams for Transcendent Bond, and what characters you should be running alongside him to succeed in PvP. So let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to the 40,000 subscribers. If you guys have not hit that subscribe button already, definitely make sure to. And without the way, let's hop in and discuss teams comps that you can build with Transcendent Bond. So after Bond's buff, guys, you know that he is able to be run now with humans and fairies now as the applicable allies. So I think it's, uh, what does it mention it here? Um, applicable allies yeah so seven deadly sins fairies and humans so now you actually are able to run bond alongside these characters and they're gonna get the buffs as well and so because of that what teams should you be building for bond for like pvp right because that's the main thing you're gonna be using him in is gonna be pvp so in terms of the uh, team i have right here this is an example of a human comp that you can build and it's gonna be a fairly strong one right you have the red excalibur arthur or you can run the green one you have green or red excalibur arthur you have rudius and then this is pretty much your like flex human slot right you have bond excalibur arthur either of the excalibur arthurs and then this is your flex slot so let's just filter race and let's go to human here and we can just scroll through and kind of pick characters you could do uh sigurd you could do uh kyo kyo is a really good character on this team too ultimate Askinor is an, an instant staple right red brunhild actually is not bad Right, Red Brundle is going to be a decent character. Um, what else do we got in terms of humans? Roxy. Roxy is a really good option in this flex slot as well. Yeah, there's a many team comps you guys can run, guys, in terms of the human setup. And I think there is a lot of options. Um, you know, my favorite human team, I would say right now, is probably uh, this team right here. Where you have Roxy, Excalibur, Arthur, Bond, and then you have Fessel just backline. And what you run on Roxy as well is you run the Green Saria link, right? So if we go to, where is it? Goddess right here. Give her green Saria link so she's applying the debuffs as she attacks and then bond goes for the market concentration and then the uh, follow-up and it's a guaranteed kill so like this team is a really really nice human team that i like to use um but remember guys if you're building a human team with bond you pretty much want to have a taunt so that bond doesn't take any damage so draw the damage away with like excalibur arthur either of them like this one or the green one right uh let me go to humans again yeah so either the green one or the red one um the red one is uh the red one is like fairly accessible but the green one is free so you know depending on who you want to use you can definitely run that and then uh, as i said like this is going to be pretty much your flex slot so you can kind of run whoever here and then for your backline as well actually you can run uh green easton um she's actually going to give you basic stats every time you get a kill in pvp which is pretty easily uh doable with bond right so you can actually run easton backline um in terms of other backlines maybe death pierce but he's not going to be too good because of his cc so yeah i mean overall you're probably your best two backlines are going to be fest zeldris which he isn't a human but if you guys don't know fest zeldris is passive he's going to be able to give you guys uh basic stats for every debuff on the enemy you get three percent uh up to eight times so that's what is that 24 percent basic stats right which is really really good so you get the 24 percent basic stats from the back you have roxy here which she actually gets i think it's crit chance for every uh human on the field right yep so she gets crit chance and then she's able to help humans actually do that additional 300 percent of her attack as extra damage right so that's why i really like this team and i feel like this is my favorite human comp so far um but what one really good human comp you can run is just this setup right here roxy ultimate Escanor. Tra uh, not uh, yeah transcendent bond like literally you just do these three and you go and go in pvp and, and you're winning every match right it's a crazy team um at, at the beginning of the video you guys saw my rudius comp as well which i like to run this team as well because rudius does have infect which is really really strong so you do like your aoe with rudius and then you do market concentration snipe and uh they're dead right and then you also make it so that they can't heal back so that's another really good team so that's like pretty much your human comps guys that's what you would be running on human now let's actually make a sins team now right let's actually switch to characteristic and let's go to the seven deadly sins team so let's actually go over to the sins and let's kind of make a team here so for sins you definitely want on your taunt character to be dm Dian's going to be the way better option here um, because other, other than anybody else because she's able to give you um, damage dealt on her Holy Relic if you have it, which is very, very strong. And then overall, she's just going to be a really strong tank 
for the team right she's gonna build up damage um she's gonna get the damage reduction from her uh stance as well right um she gets hp related so she's just a really really good character to run taunt so like deanna is gonna be a staple and then this is pretty much gonna be your flex slot kind of like the human team right you can run ultimate Eskinor in this slot you can run purgatory melee in this slot you can run king in this slot right king is gonna be a really good option as well you can run infinity merlin if you want to just apply a ton of debuffs fest gulther is another really good option too guys you have a lot of options lr lost vein you know that's another option right there there's so many team comps you can run on sins and there's just so many options which i really really like um so you can pretty much kind of experiment with who you really like you can even do like a green gulther comp too you could do like green gulther uh deanne and, and bond as well so you could have like rank ups too right so th there's many options with sins i feel like sins is super you know flexible and then the backline here for sins i think has to be festival zeldris i don't think you can really change it um because he's gonna be the you know giving you the basic stats um if i was to change it for you guys i would probably say just run like if you go to uh where is it here um all characteristics if you go to the red sr elizabeth she's not a seven deadly sins character but she does have a backline support passive where she um heals you based on your uh 10 of your max hp at the start of the allies turn when taking damage and then she does give you hp related stats so she's not going to be like a too bad of a backline so i think she's a pretty good option um but yeah like overall you're probably just going to be only running festival zeldris here um so yeah that pretty much covers the sins teams guys a lot of options but you you really can just experiment with the with, with whatever you really want to try right like you have a lot of options in terms of sins characters you can run so um yeah that's going to be the sins comp now guys let's actually move on to the fairy teams now so let's filter to race and let's go to the fairies and let's kind of talk about what team comps you can run with fairies so they're pretty limited i'd say there's not too many options you're going to run with fairies but i'd say the main comp you are going to be running is probably going to be the blue elaine um you know chad king and then transcendent bond comp with festival zelda's backline this is going to be the comp because wing elaine is going to make it so that king is actually able to apply the um the shock effect whenever he does a, a an attack right and that's going to be an extra debuff so that bond's able to do more on his snipe card right um her holy relic also increases the enemy's damage taken from shock when they are uh, by uh, 30 percent when they have the shock debuff so it's actually going to make bond do 30 percent more damage dealt which is really really strong and then you know king obviously giving you the basic stats and the damage reduction and the damage dealt is really really good too so i think this is probably your only fairy comp um because this one's pretty limited you don't have too many options but this would be like the only one i would say is like viable in pvp and the rest of them would probably not be you know not be able to work but yeah guys it's pretty much like the uh, team comps that i would go for man you have uh, many options with humans you have uh, pretty good options with sins and then you pretty much are limited to like one team on fairy but once you get more fairies in the future we might have a, a different team set up here and uh, i do like the fact that bonnie is able to work with like all the characters um that you know he that he's like re not related to but has a connection with he has the fairies with the elaine he has the sins with the seven deadly sins and then humans obviously being a human character himself like it's just a really good uh setup right here for bond man so yeah guys let me know what team you guys are running on your uh for your transcendent bond nowadays i feel like my favorite team probably is going to be like this team right here actually with keo or with roxy um as i mentioned earlier in the video like these are probably my favorite comps here um but let me know what you guys are going to be running on your teams for uh transcendent bond because uh i've been experimenting with them a lot and he's actually a really fun character now with all the um the team options you can run and i feel like because he has so much more team options he's such a, a better unit so yeah man i think overall he's uh in a great spot so yeah guys let me know what you what, what teams you're running in pvp right now with your transcendent bond that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment, subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day